Knowing how to properly organize your media is not only going to make you feel warm and fuzzy inside, but it's also going to help Plex automatically identify what you have. Today, let's talk about how to name and structure your movie files. I'm going to start off with the basics. First off, you do not have to put everything into separate directories, but it is recommended. It's going to help keep things organized and it's going to give Plex a better chance to recognize the correct titles. So to start off, you should create a main directory for your movie files. Only use this folder for movies and not things like TV shows or music. To make things simple, let's just name it Movies. Make sure that you put this directory on a hard drive that will have enough space for your media files. It can get pretty big. I always recommend a separate drive for your media, as it does wonders for your performance. In today's example, I'm going to work with a movie called Back to the Future. So in my new movie folder, I'm going to make a new folder named Back to the Future. Keep in mind that you can also add the year that the movie was made after the name. This will actually help Plex distinguish between two movies that maybe share the same name, but made in different years. Just add a space and then a year between two parentheses, just like this. If you'd like to take this a step further, you could also consider making a main directory for the movie series and put each movie in a separate directory inside the folder. Some call this OCD. I just call it good housekeeping. For now though, I just want to make it simple. Once you create your Back to the Future folder name, simply move the video file into that directory. It's at this point that no matter what the video file's name is, Plex should have a pretty good chance of picking it up and making the correct selection. Just to make sure though, we should rename the video file. Let's go ahead and name it similar to the folder back to the future parentheses 1985 parentheses dot mkv or whatever the video extension may be. We can't forget about the subtitle file though so copy the file name of your video minus the extension and rename the subtitle file to match. This will make sure that Plex knows to use it. The fun doesn't stop here. You can actually add custom posters and fan art if you want to. Just remember, when Plex scans your media, it will automatically download this stuff for you. So unless you have a very specific poster that you want to use, you usually don't have to worry about this. It's pretty simple to do. Just copy the poster or fan art file and rename it to poster.jpg or fanart.jpg. You can also use PNGs, TBNs, or even JPEGs if you so choose. All you have to do is rinse and repeat for the rest of your movies and you should have a nicely organized media collection. What if you have movies that are split into multiple parts though? Well, it's 2015. The FAT32 file system is no longer used and you should get with the times. But if you insist on having it this way, then I'll show you how to use them. Going into the movie directory that we just created before, all you need to do is add a dash after the name and then a PT1 or 2. It should look like this. Keep in mind that you can only use up to eight different parts to a movies like this. I have no idea why you'd ever want to do that, but just keep it in mind. For this last part is something a little bit more advanced, but not always used correctly. Multiple versions of the same video. For example, if you want to have an HD version and an SD version to lessen the workload on your transcoder while you're watching on a mobile device, you can do that. Keep in mind though that not all devices give you the option to specify which file to play. So in the end, you might just end up wasting valuable hard drive space with no added benefit. But to do this, simply add either 1080p, 720p, or SD to the end of the file name, before the extension of course. This is not intended to split up 2D or 3D movies though, so you should put those in a completely separate library. If you have any questions, I will link the Plex help site that has all of this information. For other naming conventions like TV shows or personal media or music, I plan on making those videos shortly, so make sure you subscribe. And if you found this video useful or you liked it, show a little bit of love and click the like button below. Thank you.